This video provides an overview of some of the ways you can customize Argus Direct to leverage Argus data and analysis for your business needs. Do keep in mind when viewing that some of these uses are only permitted under certain subscription agreements. Feel free to email us at info at ArgusMedia.com if you have questions about your Argus subscription. We are covering how to use the Argus Direct for Spreadsheets add-in, the NYMEX role, to calculate a common price component used in crew purchase agreements. All Argus Direct web subscribers have the ability to the Argus Direct for Spreadsheets add-in. It can be downloaded at the link shown on the screen. The NYMEX role is calculated by taking the contract month average of the front month, or month one WTI future prices, minus the second month WTI futures contract month average, multiplied by two thirds plus the contract month average of the front month, or month one WTI future prices, minus the third month WTI futures contract month average, multiplied by one third. Be sure to check your contract to ensure you use two-thirds and one-third accordingly. While this may sound confusing, Argus Direct for Spreadsheets makes accessing these three price components easy. To start, launch the Argus Direct for Spreadsheets add-in in Excel. Open a new workbook, click on the Argus Direct tab, click in cell A1 and click the Add button. Next, click on the folder entitled Crude, and then on the Futures folder. Once in the Futures folder, click on the option for NYMEX. Then open the price option to the right called NYMEX WTI Futures Month. When you click on the arrow, you will see the option to pick either London or Houston close. Use the Houston close to calculate the NYMEX role, as that is the NYMEX standard settlement. After clicking the arrow next to the Houston Close folder, you will be presented with the options of Open, Value Low, Value High, and Settlement. Click on the Settlement choice three times, and you see the price populate in the Price to Insert into Sheet section below. We now need to make sure we are capturing the WTI Futures Contract Month 2 and Month 3 prices. Click on the down arrow in the Period column for each row. You will have the option to pick future months under the relative option on this part of the add-in. Pick month 2 on the second row and month 3 on the third row. Now choose the time period for the prices we want to pull. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will pull the last 90 days of prices. Look at the Dates menu and click on the arrow in the Date Range field. Choose the option for Last 90 Days. This is also the field you change if you want to specify the dates of a historical data pool. To do that, choose the specified option from this dropdown and then use the calendar applet to choose the days you are interested in. Remember that Argus does not publish on certain days, such as public holidays. Please reference the Argus publishing schedule for additional details. This next step is required to see which daily prices fall into which NYMEX contract settlement months. Ensure you check the box entitled Show Contract slash Delivery Timing in the Preferences menu. We can now populate our data into Excel. Click on the OK button at the bottom of the add-in. Once the data is populated, take a look at the columns. Column A will refer to the published dates of the prices. Columns B, D, and F refer to the timing or NYMEX contract months that the prices are associated with, and columns C, E, and G contain the prices we will use to calculate the NYMEX role. For this example, we will calculate the August 2018 role. The first number to calculate is the August 2018 NYMEX Futures Month contract average. To do this, Average all of the prices in column C that are referenced by August 2018 in column B. For this example, we have deleted all of the prices towards the bottom of the spreadsheet that reference September 2018 timing in column B.
Using the average function in Excel, we can calculate that the August 2018 contract month average is 71.07. Now use this same process to calculate the month 2, or in this case, September 2018. That contract month average is 69.57. Month 3, or in this case, October 2018, averages out to be 67.98. We now have the three averages needed to calculate the NYMEX roll. In the cells below the averages, use a formula that subtracts the September 2018 average from the August 2018 and multiply it by 0.6667 or whatever two-thirds decimal you and your counterpart have agreed to. In this case, the total is 0.999415. Then, use a formula that subtracts the October 2018 average from the August 2018 average and multiply this by 0.3333, or whatever one-third decimal you and your counterpart have agreed to. This equals 1.029897. To finalize the August 2018 NYMEX roll calculation, Add the two-thirds component to the one-third component. Under this example, we can conclude that the August 2018 NYMEX roll equals 2.029312. This concludes our demonstration. Should you have any questions or require assistance setting this up in Argus Direct for spreadsheets, please contact your Argus commercial representative or email Argus support at support at argusmedia.com. We hope you have found this session valuable and that it helps to automate the calculation of this commonly used price.